Hello and welcome to Section 3, Setting Docker Swarm Mode. In the previous section, we set up Jenkins to automate the build and deployment of our Docker application. In this section, we will be talking about Docker Swarm. It is a mode of running multiple Docker engines to operate as a single cluster. This section will contain the following topics about it. First, we will set up a Docker Swarm cluster. Next, we will update our deployment pipeline to use Docker Swarm. And then, we will demonstrate a few Docker Swarm operations like expanding our cluster. And finally, we will review other container orchestration tools. Here we are in the first video, Initialize Docker Swarm. In this video, we will set up a minimal Docker Swarm cluster. First, we will initialize a Docker Swarm manager, and then we will add a worker to join our Docker Swarm. If you look at the Docker Swarm documentation, the two components we mentioned earlier worked like this in a Docker Swarm cluster. First, we have the manager. The manager are the ones that maintain the state about the cluster and serves as the API endpoint to receive Swarm-related operations. In a production setting, at least three manager nodes are needed for high availability. And then we have the workers. The worker nodes represents the Docker engines to run the actual containers. They receive containers scheduled by the manager to be executed. The documentation about how Swarm mode works is found in this URL. Let us now get our feet wet to set up Docker Swarm. Here we are in our development environment. Notice that we are connected to our production Docker host remotely. First, we initialize our production Docker host as the manager of our Docker Swarm. Now our Docker Swarm is initialized. Take note of the token and the advertised manager address. In case we forget the token when we initialize the Swarm, the token can be retrieved with the join token worker command. Next, we go to a new Docker host called Worker1. In this host, we will paste and run the command given to us by the manager to join our Docker Swarm as a worker. As you can see, I have the token and the address of our manager here. Now our worker joined our Docker Swarm as a worker. Going back to our manager, we now have a Docker Swarm setup with a worker that is ready to run our Docker containers. As you can see, here is our worker ready to receive the containers.